My name is Benny Angus and we are here on Nimranan Point. Today we're gonna go and get some shellfish. And the tide's pretty good now. It's still going out. So if we wanna go and get some shellfish, we better go now, eh? Well, when we do go for oysters, we normally take a big car so we can take the whole family. So at the moment I've actually taken my mum which is over there trying to get some more uh, shellfish and my cousin who will be getting some more oysters so we're going to bring it um, all together so the whole family can eat. This is Numeranan Point here and at the back of me you can see um, Signet Bay Pearls. Yeah, this is my um, grandfather's country but he's gone now, so we have to take over this country now and mine it for him. This is what we do every day, our everyday life, collecting oysters or fishing. Show the kids our culture. Yeah, look, you can just see the shape here and how big it is. Just a big shell. You can just see the shape. Well, um, we use a, a normal screwdriver with a flat top there so you can actually put it into the oyster like this and just hammer away like that. But. Um, we're actually short on, on hammer at the moment, so I'm lending mine to Benny, so we like sharing today. <laughs> we used to use rocks before, but couldn't um, get the whole thing out, so we use this. As you can see, this one here is a bit too small, so we like to um, like leave it here for it to grow a bit more, because um, yeah, that is a bit small for us to take home and eat. So we'll put this one back. Okay, here we are. We actually found a, a clamshell and um, we normally cut it in half and we get the meat from the inside. We normally boil it up and then you can make stir fries and whatever you want with it. Well, we've just come across another razor shell and that looks yeah, like I said, it, it sort of like hide behind rocks and that as well, so it just stands there. But um, this stuff here is like all around this whole reef here. So if you um, are going shell fishing, you should always use something like this, probably a, a reefing boots or a thongs or boots or something like that, because like I said, it's very sharp and it, it can do a lot of damage to your feet. Yeah, I think we have a bucket full here and I think we better go up there and cook it up, I think. Because the tide's coming in again. So I wouldn't want it to cover us up. Come on, Josh. said, living here in the small communities, um, you know, sometimes we're, we're very isolated, especially when the wet season comes, we can't go to town and buy our stores and and um, basically, you know, like our everyday everyday food or you buy in the shop. Um, there's some season, there's sometimes when, when we don't have that, we have to live off the land. And where I'm from at this moment now in Marnan, 
you know, like some of the, sometimes we don't even bother going to the shops, you know, we just live off the land. We go out and get a lot of oysters, you know, like I said, the, most of the meals that we was having now is just basically off the land, straight, in, straight into the fire and straight in your stomach. Okay, well what we're going to do right now is damper, and um, so we're going to try and make a good damper for us today. Well, this is the finishing touch of our damper, and um, we're gonna put them on a fire as soon as the, the fire comes down a bit. Well, the food that, that we prepared is a mixture of shellfish, healthy food, such as tomatoes and snow peas and um, carrots. That's very good for you. And it's also good for, for growing kids as well. As you can see, they really love it. Shells. We call that Yarungun. You can practically get that anywhere. Um, the best spot to get it is Marnan, of course. Um, they, they come in any, all different kinds of sizes and um, there's different kinds of oysters as well. But the Yarungun itself, that's the oysters are really, really big ones. And um, oysters, if you polish your oysters up, they can become good ones as well for your house. But the trumpet baler shell and clam shell, the trumpet shell, which we call um, ngolnga, baler shell, which we call ambor, and clam shell, that's banjar, we can make um, nice lamps. My mom used to make nice lamps out of that as well, so you can make nice lamps. Be good for your house. But the, the main thing, what we love the best, is like straight from the sea, you got them out straight in the fire, and that's the best way of cooking. I hope you enjoyed our program, Catching Shellfish at Marnan. And how, we, how do we do it, kids? Marnan Child! <laughs>